this video, we will be discussing water resources. Looking at the world, what percentage of Earth do you think is water? Did you guess 75%? If so, you are close. The Earth is made up of 71% water. So let's talk about potable water. This is the water that is safe to drink or to use for food preparation. What are some other uses for potable water? As mentioned before, we can use it to drink or to cook with. We can use it for cleaning. We can also use it for laundry. We can use it when we shower or brushing our teeth. And we even use it in agriculture and in our gardens. So is water a renewable or a non-renewable source? It is a renewable source, but it is limited. It is replenished through the water cycle. The water cycle is how water moves on Earth and through the atmosphere. For example, if it rained, the water droplets would, could land on a leaf, and when the sun comes back out, the water droplet is then evaporated into the air and rises way up into the sky, creating a cloud. When the cloud gets heavy with water, it releases the water as rain or snow. Then the cycle starts again. This is just one of many paths that water could take. It could land in a river and be carried for a long time before it evaporates into the air, or it could end up in another body of water. We are going to do a demonstration that shows how much water we have on the earth. This cylinder is full of 1,000 milliliters of water. This represents all the water on the earth, including lakes, streams, glaciers, groundwater, and the ocean. Now I'm going to pour 30 milliliters of this water into the second largest cylinder. What is left of the 1,000 milliliters of water is salt water, which we can find in the oceans. Out of all the water on the earth, the 30 milliliter represents the amount of fresh water, about 3% of the total. Now, of the 30 milliliters of water, I am going to pour 6 milliliters of it into the smallest cylinder. What is left of the 30 milliliters of water represents the amount that is trapped in the form of ice caps and glaciers. Out of all the water on Earth, this 6 milliliters represents the amount of unavailable fresh water, which is about 0.06% of the total. And lastly, this one drop of water represents the amount of clean, fresh water that is not polluted or otherwise unavailable for use. It is about 0.003% of the total amount of water on Earth. Wow, that's not very much. Water is a valuable resource and should be protected. So what do you use your water for? Thanks for watching.